On April 10, 1963, an atomic submarine, the USS Thresher, sunk in the Atlantic, killing the entire crew. The Thresher was built to fuel the American war effort in the Cold War, and was a state-of-the-art technology. However, due to an internal design flaw, the submarine sunk, creating a catastrophic event which marked a turning point for the Navy and how it engineered submarines. The USS Thresher was a lead boat in a new class of nuclear-powered, fast-attacking submarines. It was considered the fastest and quietest submarine in the world. It was also the first nuclear submarine to be built in a batch larger than five. Altogether, 14 Threshers would be built, all using high-strength HY-80 steel alloy and new streamlined hulls which are still in use today. The Thresher was constructed specifically to seek out and destroy Soviet submarines. It was equipped with an advanced weapon system, sonar, and was capable of deep diving, making it the perfect weapon for hunting Soviet submarines. On the morning of April 10th, 1963, the Thresher was conducting dive tests along with another ship, the USS Skylark, off the coast of Cape Cod. At 9.13 a.m., the USS Skylark received a message from the Thresher that the sub was experiencing minor problems. Shortly after, all communications failed and the Thresher never returned to the surface. The listeners in the Skylark last heard a noise like air rushing into an air tank, then silence. Repeated efforts to re-establish contact with the Thresher failed. The USS Thresher was lost. Once the Thresher reached critical depths, it imploded breaking the sub apart. The sub's hull was later found at the bottom of the ocean, ruptured into six pieces. President John F. Kennedy later ordered all flags to be flown at half-mast on April 12th to April 15th, in honor of the lives that had been lost in the sinking of the USS Thresher. There were many consequences of the disaster. First and foremost, 129 sailors and civilians were lost when the sub unexpectedly plunged to the sea floor. This made the Thresher the first of two submarines that killed more than 100 people aboard. The loss of the Thresher also devastated the naval community. The tragedy prompted the Navy to develop new safety measures and designs and to put more emphasis on quality control during the manufacturing of submarines. Also, a new quality assurance program known as SubSafe was instituted in order to review the integrity of future submarine designs. SubSafe is still active today and has only lost one submarine since it was first created in 1963. When the USS Thresher never returned to the surface, the USS Skylark alerted the nearest port in Boston, Massachusetts that the Thresher was lost. Soon after, remediation actions began as an underwater search using the ship Mizar and other ships mounted immediately and soon found shattered remains of the Thresher's hull located on the sea floor. No survivors were found. All 129 passengers aboard the USS Thresher were pronounced dead. Later in June, the Bathyscaf Trieste conducted two series of dives on the debris field. During these dives, it photographed major sections of the Thresher, including the sail, sonar dome, bow section, and stern plates. After the Thresher was rediscovered, a thorough examination began of photographs, objects recovered from the ocean floor, and records of the sub's construction and maintenance. Many deep sea dive operations commenced in order to recover bits of wreckage of the Thresher which would help the investigation. Investigators used deep sea photography, recovered artifacts, and an evaluation on the Thresher's operational history in order to draw conclusions on what caused the Thresher to sink. Investigators also used sound surveillance system data to, to prove that flooding was not the primary cause of the sinking of the USS Thresher. Instead, it was concluded that the primary cause was a failure of the electrical bus which was powering the main coolant pumps. The sound surveillance system data indicates that the electrical bus failed at 9.12 a.m., which caused the main coolant pumps to shut off. This caused an immediate reactor scram, resulting in a loss of propulsion, 
Due to formation of ice in the high pressure air pipes, the thresher was unable to stabilize itself and sank to the sea floor. Further analysis shows that flooding had no part in the sinking as the sound surveillance system data picked up no sounds of water flooding the ship. The sinking of the USS Thresher was one of the deadliest naval disasters in human history. However, through this catastrophic event, we have revolutionized how we engineer and construct submarines today.